If I told you that this slide here was taken for a lung, from a lung, you would have every reason not to believe me because there is nothing on here that looks like normal lung. If I told you it was taken from an area in which the lung was totally consolidated and in addition looked like it perhaps had a more uh, necrotic area centrally like an abscess, then you would believe me. Uh, so let's take a look closer at what we're seeing here and maybe we can get smart. Notice that most of this, all of this stuff here is hemorrhage, it looks like. This stuff here looks like it's necrotic material. Here's some more necrotic looking material. Uh, here's some more perhaps fibrotic material at the edge. You can see some blood vessel along here. So this is just some junky abscess and if you'd rather not look at it more closely and just call it junk, that's okay with me because, you know, or if you'd rather just culture it and see what it grows out, if it grows out anything, that's okay too. But let's, uh, let's get real smart here. Let's look at this area a little more closely. You can see in most areas where you see the darker stuff, besides having uh, true abscess material, fibrin, and necrotic material, neutrophils, when you look a little bit closer at these blacker areas, uh, you can see once again here we are as high as we could go now, that they look like they are little uh, branching hairballs again. This is another classic case of aspergillus pneumonia. Uh, practically every one of those uh, junky, gunky things that we saw in the middle is just loaded with this. It's an aspergilloma, sometimes it's called, because it can look like a tumor. But here are the hyphae. Here are how they branch. The microbiologists tell me that they branch at 40 degrees as compared to uh, Candida, which branches at 45. Quite frankly, I don't think I could tell the difference. But here they all are. And this is not a fungal stain. This is a regular H&E stain. And you can see that the lung is just loaded with them. And anywhere you go uh, and you see these... Uh, blacker areas, you know you're going to find uh, aspergillus um, uh, hyphae all along here, all along here, all along here. Basically it's loaded with them. Would you like to blow up another uh, random area or perhaps feel like we could get lucky if we go to even to a non-black area like this? And here is necrotic material. Here are neutrophils. There might be some fibrin in here. Let's drag this slide down a little bit. And I would say in here, we don't really see hyphae very well, but we do see classical abscess material, you know, fibrin and uh, neutrophils. But up here now, we're starting to see little uh, rod-like structures or hyphal-like structures all throughout here. Here are some more aspergillus uh, septate hyphae branching at 40 degrees. Thank you very much.